My name is Paul Jones. I'm Conservation Manager here at Aerospace Bristol. My responsibilities include caring for all of the exhibits, which include the Concorde and uh, various other aircraft. We also do restoration of World War II bomber. This aircraft is the last Concorde ever built. and also the last Concorde ever to fly, and it landed here in November 2003. In 2019, we were looking forward to the 50th anniversary of the first flight of Concorde. And so we were examining what we could do to uh, mark this occasion. And uh, we came up with the idea of uh, why not uh, get the droop nose working, which is pretty iconic. So then we started off on a project to see what we needed to do to accomplish that. The main challenges was this is a 50 year old aircraft and we didn't want uh, to generate any leakage in any parts of the aircraft. We wanted just to power hydraulics to the front of the aircraft. Oliver Starr from Zeus Hydrotech had previously visited the museum and had indicated that if we needed any help, that he would be happy to get involved. Part of the project was to decide where we were gonna connect into the hydraulic system, what level of pump we needed, so what pressure, what flow, uh, and what other attachments, if anything, do we need on there, what other indications. We needed the mains driven pump to be able to interface with the aircraft selection and control valve system. And so the pump was supplied by Zeus. Uh, it had an indication gauge, so we could use that to uh, connect to the aircraft uh, level indication. It also had a pressure transducer so that we could uh, understand what pressure was being delivered by the pump. So in order to install the pump into the nose landing gear bay, we needed to build, first of all, a structure that would mount the motor on. And we also needed to run mains power uh, down under the floor of the aircraft, uh, ready to be connected to the motor. To operate the nose, we use the original hydraulic switch, which we've connected to the contactor at the motor. And then we use this selection here, which is the original aircraft switch. Uh, and uh, so the first position would move the windshield down to its first position. And then we go to five degrees. And then we go fully down. Having Oliver from Zeus on board, this project was very successful and we've done numerous operations of the nose since then and uh, we haven't had any issues at all. <laughs>